Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to Piedmont, Missouri, right here in this location in southeastern Missouri. I received a video from Stacy. Stacy and her husband noticed an unusual craft hovering above Flatwoods Conservation Area in southeastern Missouri. She sent this video clip in to me her and her husband took while watching this object not only watching it, but they heard it too. This is a first. I've never received footage of an object that was putting off sound. And I also want to share the email that she sent in with me, giving me more specifics about their encounter of some sort of an object out here in the nighttime sky. It was very, very dark that night, and the object was right out here above the trees, above that conservation area. We're going to come back and take a closer look at that video here in just a moment. I also want to share this picture with you guys because it has similarities to the video you're about to see with regard to what Jennifer was describing as a triangle craft in the sky. She sent this photo in as she was driving down the road in Folsom, California, the night of July 13th, 2021. She saw the craft in the sky, managed to get one photo of it before it disappeared. I wanted to share that one with you guys because it had similarities to this still image right here from a video out of Montello, Wisconsin, taken by Home stead how and that video is right here that you can find linked below in the description box they asked me if i would work on what they saw and they managed to get four photos of this object in the nighttime sky back in june above montello wisconsin and this was a total surprise he was not expecting to see some sort of an unknown object in the nighttime sky so i'm working on this one too in fact there's been a big uptick in sightings not only in the daytime sky but the nighttime sky as well I've got some daytime footage that I'm going to share with you guys here soon but I am working on this video put up by Homestead Howe you can find this video linked down below in the description box and when I get through working on the still images from this video I will definitely share them with you guys I want to come over here now to the website as I've made some changes to the website I'm working on a new sky phenomena photo gallery so in the meantime what I'm doing is I'm rotating photos here on the home page I'm featuring a new photo every day, maybe two days, I'll change it out. This banner you see right up here is simply a banner. It's not linked to anything. It says daily viewer photo. And what I'm doing is putting up a new photo every day. And when I get the new Sky Phenomena photo gallery done, I'll put it right back over here in this spot. But in the meantime, I thought it would be kind of neat to share a viewer photo. So look for new photos on here every day, maybe two days. I'll, I'll switch them out and put new ones up. But I am working on a new Sky Phenomena photo gallery. Coming over here, looking at the Schumann Resonance, it's quite quieted down considerably compared to the massive spike that occurred about 36 hours ago. All you see now is a little bit of background noise. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano. Earthquake activity has returned once again, albeit small, but you can see those red vertical signatures across several of the seismographs at the Supervolcano Caldera. And for some reason, up here at the northeast entrance, East Entrance and Old Faithful, there is an absence of data. Seismographs are completely blank. More than likely, some sort of a mechanical glitch. Looking at the Planetary K Index over here at the Space Weather Prediction Center, you can see there was a slight increase in the K Index, but not anything major. Very, very small geomagnetic activity. Certainly not a storm. In fact, it's already came and gone. Coming over here now to the Lake Mead Water Database. Once again, setting a new all-time record low on July 14th of 2021 of 1,067.85 feet. Lake Mead supplies water to millions of people out here in the southwest. And it also is a source of electricity to millions of people over in California. California. Now I want to take you guys back to Piedmont, Missouri. This is the location right here where Stacy and her husband saw an object in the nighttime sky. I want to share the email that she shared with me on July 13th pertaining to their encounter that occurred on the night of July 13th. 12th. Here we go. Goes on to say, hello, we live in Piedmont, Missouri, which is rural southeastern Missouri. Last night, she's talking about July 12th, after dusk, I noticed a glow of lights under the canopy of the forest at the edge of my backyard. And she's talking about this location right here. It's nothing but trees. The Flatwoods Conservation Area. 
She goes on to say, we have no neighbors behind us for miles. It's all forest. I also heard a humming noise that I wasn't familiar with. My husband also heard and saw it too. Before I took this video clip, we stood and watched it for about 10 minutes, standing only 40 to 50 yards in front of the tree. It never moved, but we could see some of the lights flashing. It appeared to be throughout the treetop, almost like drones attached to something bigger, possibly. This happened last night on July 12th. We did not watch it leave. It was too frightening for me to stay outside. And you can hear it in her voice when she asks her husband to go inside. She does seem to be legitimately frightened. She's ready to go in the house. She goes on to say, would you please examine this video? You need to be in a dark room with brightness all the way up. And that's very true. I had to do a lot of work on this video to get this object to come forward, but it finally did. And I want to show you that video right now that was shared with me by Stacy out of Piedmont, Missouri. Here we go. I'm going to show you the original video. And this at times is what the lights look like. The pattern was shaped like a triangle. That's one of the patterns I noticed. And here's another one. It looked like it kind of leveled out. This is the original unedited video sent in by Stacy. This is just part of it. Notice the noise in the background. That, okay. And this is where she said right she's ready to go inside. Come inside right now. And you can hear in her voice, she said, Come inside right now. She was legitimately frightened because she did not know what this thing was. And then there was noise associated with it. So once again, I had to zoom in many, many times, and I did enhance the lighting so we could see these lights and quite possibly make out what this craft was. Here we go. This is what they saw and heard. Hear the noise in the background? They said they'd never heard that noise before, so they're assuming it was associated with this craft that they had never seen before either. And at times, it does look like it forms a triangle. It's just not all the lights are on at the same time, or we can't see all of the lights on at the same time. Sometimes they all three light up, making a triangle formation, like right here. And then it turns and rotates and goes into more of a flat, horizontal position. But notice the noise in the background. And here in a moment, you're going to hear her ask her husband like three times, let's go inside, let's go inside. You could tell she was starting to get frightened by this thing in her own words. She said she was frightened in the email. So here's the object. It looked like to me it went more horizontal here where it laid flat. That looks like we're looking at the edge of a triangle craft that's putting off sound. I've never had that happen before. You could tell she was just ready to get inside. And again, they had been out here for over 10 minutes watching this object in the same location. I'm very heavily zoomed in right now. It was difficult for them to see all of this going on. They knew there was something over there. They could hear something over there. Pretty incredible footage. And that is a first. I've never heard sound associated with any type of sighting in the day or nighttime sky. And at the end of the video, I noticed this thing kind of come out of nowhere. I have no idea what this is either. Looked like some sort of a red cylinder moving at a very high rate of speed. Kind of a red and purple weird little object I froze it right there you can see I froze it and zoomed in and then it took off again I mean it was in and out of here in probably a second and a half I have no idea what that was don't really know for sure what we've got going on here either I think to the best of my ability when I pulled this forward it looks like to me it was some sort of a triangle craft sitting over here above the tree line out over a flatwoods conservation area in southeastern Missouri noticed by Stacy and her husband not only did they notice it but they heard it as well in the nighttime sky of July 12th of 2021 thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there